गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट सो लेट्स रिज्यूम आवर स्टोरी सो हैविंग सीन द फिश एंड द फिश इज स्टिल रनिंग एंड सेंटिया को फील्स ए रिन्यूड कॉन्फिडेंस एंड होप इज होप इन हिमसेल्फ इवन दाउ ही रियलाइज ही विल प्रोबेबली वेव to wait through another night to master the fish usko lagta hai ki shayad ek raat phir lag jayegi usko machli ko kam matlab kamzor karne mein ya fir us pe kabu paane mein as sunset approaches he catches a dolphin wo ek dolphin pakadta hai which he eats to maintain his strength okay then he laces his two oars together across the stern of the boat hoping to slow the fish during the might he is very during the uh, the might he is very careful however not to disturb the fish if he startles it and cause it to dive it will be suicidal for the old man after eating santiago ask the fish how it is feeling and again sympathize with it for not having eaten in two days he also inform it that he himself feel good for he has eaten and his hands are better now santiago is however concerned about the clouds in the sky thinking there may be a bad weather ahead khana khane ke baad mein ek dolphin usne pakdi aur kha li dolphin ke baad mein wo machli se puchne ki koshish karta hai ya fir khud hi baat karta hai maine bataya ki he is a picture of talking aloud okay so he talk himself and he is addressing the fish that day. how do you feeling tumne do din tak kuch khana wana nahi khaya hai maine khana kha liya hai aur main bachcha mehsoos kar raha hu aur mere haathon mein bhi taakat bhi aa gayi hai fir wo dekhta hai ki aasman mein kuch badal hain aur wo thoda sa worry bhi karta hai ki mausam change ho sakta hai barsaat ho sakti hai toofan aa sakta hai okay so in spite of santiago's claim that he is feeling good his back is numb with pain and he is also afraid that he may fall unconscious from fatigue and tiredness he tries to reassure himself that even though there are some minor inconvenience he is ready to kill the fish he idly wonders how many people will feed on his giant creature again showing a fierce loyalty to fish he says that no one is worthy eating it for the fish has great dignity bearing the punishment of a hook hunger and an unknown danger the old man decide to rest for about 2 hours during the night by easing the strain of the line on his back still holding the line in his hands he rigs it up in such a way that even if he relaxes in his sleep it will not run away with the fish in spite of his efforts santiago sleep fruitfully dreaming a school of propose that jump into the air and fall back into the ocean he dreams of the village where he spent his uh, slept in his bed feeling old and crumpled finally he dreams of the loins and feels happy so we see that uh, he here we we see that uh, the dreams of loins and the forest of africa make him happy and they gain him strength so st- suddenly the f- fish start jumping santiago tries to break the line but it rushes out the fish jump again and again dragging the boat violently now the old fisherman is Uh, uh, bailing the line out the boat goes fast in the fleeting moment he wishes that the boy were there to help him with the rope which has cut his face the only good thing is that the fish has filled the air shacks that will uh, boy it up it will be unable to dive deep for a while the old man wonders if it was hunger or a depression or some fear that has made the fish jump ki kaun sa kya karan raha hoga kya 
क्या इरिटेशन रही होगी या फिर डिप्रेशन या फिर हंगर जो थी जिसने इस मछली को ऊपर की ऊपर नीचे कुदाने में सहायता करी हो या फिर इसको मोटिवेट किया हो ओके वेन द फिश क्विट्स जम्पिंग सेंटिया गोकलिन फेस एंड हैंड्स विद हैंड्स इन द वोटर एंड वोशेज the down coming of all the both his face and hands are hurting he tells himself that pain doesn't matter to man feeling weak he eats one of the flying fish that he found whole inside the dolphin he then notices that the fish is finally swimming along with the current indicating that it is uh, tired completely tired santiago settled down to wait for the great fish to start circling and then slow up above the surface ab wo intezar kar raha hai ki machli kab tak haar ke upar ki taraf aa jaye aur boat ke charo taraf kya karne laga de chakkar lagana shuru kar de next morning when the sun rises on santiago's third day the fish starts circling initially swimming far from the boat the old man uses his legs and shoulders as pivots to turn the boat with the fish two hours later he is sweating profusely and tired to the bone but the fish is still circling at least the circles have become much tighter in this in his total fatigue santiago start seeing black spots before his eyes which he blames on his stressful situation when he begins to feel fine and dizzy he worries that he may die before the magnificent fish he prays to god to help him endure and not give up promises to say 100 our fathers and 100 hell marys when the fish jumps santiago begs to not to do so he is worried that the hook will come loose and it will free the fish when he feels faint again he splashes sea water on his head and says he is fit as a fiddle although he would love to take a rest he must use his whole body to recover uh, the line that the fish has taken as he pulls it in the fish begin to circle nearer the boat santiago prepare to harp on it when it comes close enough the first time the old man is too tired to kill it when weather start uh, when uh, weather start deteriorating santiago decide to try and steer the boat and the fish shout and waste as he turns he gets a close view of the fish and is astonished at the largeness of its size and the beauty of its color fins and eyes he prays again begging for the fish to come closer still he raises the harpoon and is ready to aim at the heart of the giant fish although santiago feels faint and faint and sick he manages to hold on to the fish he also casuals his hands legs and head to help him pull the fish closer in his exhaust uh, exhaustion however he doesn't seem to care who kills whom and invites to the claim noble fish to come and get him ending the fight on the seventh turn the fish passes close beside the boat the old man drops the line holding it with his foot with both his hands he lifts the harpoon as high as he can and dives with all his might into the heart of the fish the fish rises high in the air and crashes into the water sending praise sending uh, spreading sprays over the old man and the entire skiff when the fish turns over the old man can see the harpoon projecting from his shoulders and it is obvious that he had made a good strike great 
more uh, amount of blood hosing out into the sea as the great fish dies now that the fish fight is over and the old man battles with himself to keep his head clear he repeatedly tells himself that thou he is sick tired and old there is still a lot to work to be accomplished he must prepare the nooses and ropes to fasten the fish to the boat in order to take it home with him as he ties up the dead fish around noon time he cannot believe that he has mastered such a big one he tries to hurry in his task for with some luck he may reach home by late night he looks forward showing off the fish to melonin and wonders how much money he will make from selling its meat and he also think that finding proud of his accomplishment santiago imagines that dimesio would even congratulate him for this task before sailing towards home the old man bears his hook in order to catch some small fish to eat he catches a dozen small shrimps uh, pinnas and their heads and eats them shell and all they are both tasty and nourishing he takes a small drink of water carefully conserving that is remaining in his bottle as he set off he wonders whether the huge fish is a dream but with one look at it he knows that it is a reality and it is a great and a whole adventure okay so this is a part of story and uh, the remaining part of the story we will read in following lecture